Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract fractions with unlike denominators. And this is part two. So if you're looking for part one, I drop that link down in the description. If you're ready for part two, let's jump into number one where we have seven eighths minus three fourths. And the first thing that we need to do is find a common denominator. Now you may recognize what that common denominator is right when you look at the problem. If not, we need to write out some multiples of both eight and four and look for that least common multiple. That's going to be our common denominator. I'm going to come to the bottom of the screen where I have some extra room to write out the multiples and we'll look for that least common multiple. That will be our common denominator. We'll start with eight. So my suggestion would be write out four or five for each. Look to see if you have any common multiples, specifically the least common multiple. If not, you can continue your lists until you find the least common multiple. So eight, 16, 24, 32. Let's do four. So four, four, eight, and we don't need to continue because we see that we have a common multiple and specifically a least common multiple of eight between eight and four. So we are ready for our next step. So eight is going to be our common denominator. I'm going to come back up to the original problem just underneath and start to rename these fractions with that denominator of eight. So once I have that common denominator, I need to rename my fractions with that denominator of eight. I'm going to use equivalent fractions in order to do so. Now seven eighths already has a denominator of eight, so I don't need to rename. I can bring that seven straight down. As far as three fourths, I need to think, how do I get that denominator of four to equal the denominator of eight? Four times what equals eight? Well, I know that four times two equals eight. So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator in order to keep these fractions equivalent. I don't wanna change the value of the problem at all. So I need to multiply the numerator by two as well. Three times two gives us six. So six eighths is equivalent to three fourths. We now have that common denominator of eight, so we are ready to subtract. When we subtract fractions, we subtract the numerators. So seven minus six gives us a numerator of one in our answer, and we keep our denominator the same. We keep it eight. So our final answer is one eighth. Now we always look to see if we can simplify our answers, but one eighth is in simplest form. The only common factor between one and eight is one. So it is again in simplest form and we are done. So the answer to number one is one eighth. Let's move on to number two and try another one. So we have four sixths minus eight fifteenths. We need a common denominator. So let's write out some multiples of six and 15 and see if we can find that least common multiple, which will be our common denominator. We'll start with six and we'll write out four multiples. So six, six, 12, 18, 24. All right, let's do 15 now. So 15, 15, 30, 45, 60. And we do not have any common multiples. So what we can do, we can extend our lists. Now the multiples for 15, were already at 60. The multiples for six, we're only at 24. So let's extend that list. So the next multiple is going to be 30, and that's going to give us a common multiple, specifically the least common multiple. So 30 is going to be our common denominator. Let's go back up to the original problem and rename these fractions with that denominator of 30. So let's do four sixths first. So how do we get six to equal 30? Well, we know six times five 
gives us that denominator of 30. So we need to do the same thing to the numerator in order to have an equivalent fraction. So multiply four by five as well. So four times five is 20. So 20 thirtieths is equivalent to four sixths. And we now have that denominator of 30. Now we need to do eight fifteenths. So 15 times two is 30. Do the same thing to the numerator. Eight times two is 16. So we have 20 thirtieths minus 16 thirtieths. 20 minus 16, subtract the numerators. That gives us four. Keep the denominator of 30 the same. So four thirtieths is our answer, but we can simplify. Four and 30 have a common factor of two, so let's divide both by two. And this will give us the simplest form. So four divided by two is two. 30 divided by two is 15. So our final simplified answer is 2 fifteenths. Now, if you need more help or clarification with simplifying fractions, I dropped a link to my video about simplifying fractions down in the description. As far as subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, remember, find a common denominator, rename with that common denominator, subtract, and then look to see if you can simplify that answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.